Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you how I embedded one of these bulletin board interfaces that I used with a product called Padlet and put it into the Confluence page. Uh, it's pretty easy to use Padlet. You can you don't have to sign up. I signed up and, and paid for a premium account because I wanted a few more options, but you can just use it without logging in. You create your own bulletin board, which I won't go through, but once you're ready to actually embed it into another page, it's pretty easy to do. You just click on this word share over in the top right hand corner, and then you go over to share, export, or embed options. Uh, you scroll down until you see something called embed in your blog and then what I did is I just uh, copied this and pasted it onto a sticky and um, I go back to my confluence page and essentially what I do is I look for the place to embed this and that's a little bit tricky and thanks to Elaine and Paula they helped me out in finding this you actually have to go to the plus sign on the button bar you head down to other macros at the very bottom of the uh, list and then just type in iframe because that's the uh, kind of code that you're going to be posting in there. You click once on the word iframe and then um, there's a few different fields here that they ask you to fill in but we figured out that you don't have to fill those all in. You essentially have to fill in just a couple of them. The first is the URL which is uh, usually located at the very beginning of the iframe code. You just copy and paste that in there. I left ID um, blank. Uh, all of these others I've left blank until I get down to the actual measurements as to how you want it to appear on the screen. And uh, in this case I'll just have it appear 100% across the screen and I don't need it to be too tall so I'll maybe give it uh, 300 pixels as um, the height and then you can align it any way you want. I have chosen to just put it in the middle. You can give it uh, some a frame border by pixels if you wish, um, one and above. And then as you continue to scroll down, the only other two things that you need to select are you want a scrolling option and you want people to be able to read that information left to right LTR. After you filled in basically four or five of these fields, um, you just click on insert and you might not see anything immediately so just click on save at the bottom of your page and then you get this really cool feature that allows people to uh, see what ideas have been generated and then if you wish you can add more ideas by just clicking on the plus sign on the right hand side typing an idea here and then it um, appears just thought i'd show you that hope it's useful